Hello and welcome. If you are new here, we're Aramis and Emily, a UK-based couple with a love of the outdoors. We bought this Ford Transit panel van with the intention to convert it into our ultimate adventure van for our trips across the UK and abroad. After 12 months of hard work on the weekends, we started to get closer and closer to the finish line. On our previous episode, we had a day off from the build and took the old girl out to test the new things we had installed. If you missed that episode, don't forget to go and check it out. Her relaxed evening was well needed, but soon it was back to hard graft. A big five-day trip was fast approaching and there was still more to do before we could hit the road. We're back, and we need to do some stuff. So, we mentioned before that we're going on a five-day trip, and we need to source a couple of things. First one, we need some sort of curtains here. We managed to get some blackout material. One meter of this material is just about five pounds. We decided to go for four meters because we want to fold it down and make it completely black from both sides because at the moment one side is white. Let's turn some lights on. Yeah, this side is white and this one is black. It does the job, it is blackout. I'm gonna fold it half, stitch it together and I think I'm gonna try to use a velcro and just stick it on. We'll see how it goes. Now we've got the batteries, we can try again. Right, so we got this uh, double side tape velcro. I'm gonna try to stitch one of them at the top and other half, the other side, the, the sticky bit. I'm gonna attached to the bottom of the overhead shelf. And that hopefully should work. Fingers crossed. So now, I think, Obviously, not, that's still not cut to size, but the idea is that we just have this end and we would just velcro it. And I think it should be alright. Yeah, but that's the idea. So we would just velcro at the top like that. So from inside, it actually also looks not too bad. So now we just need to cut it to this shape as well and I probably put some velcro on this side here so it can actually velcro on this bit as well. I'm just gonna test fit it out. About 30. Yeah, starting to look good. I think that's gonna work out. I don't know how I'm gonna do about that side. It's not very easy access there. So, finally, I think I finished. I think. That's how it's looking. We have some sort of curtain. 
So I was thinking in the beginning, I'm just gonna put a couple of Velcro bits just to stick it on the sides. But I ended up putting like all the way from the top to the bottom. This side was a bit more tricky because I couldn't get inside there. But I think it should be still okay. To test it, is there any light coming through? Any darkness? So we'll see. But I think that should do the job. So one job ticked off. On to another one. Second job is to make a toilet. We could have got a chemical toilet, but we thought we don't want to mess around with all the emptying it and all the stuff. So we're gonna attempt and make a composting toilet. So we got the urine separator. We're gonna have our piss bottle. We have a toilet lid. And obviously I need one more thing, a bucket or some sort of container for a uh, second stuff. The idea is that we need to create something. This will look like this and then this would lift up as well and on top it would have a lid. Uh, again, wish us luck. That's going to be our place for a toilet. I'm already coming across with the first issue. I already scratched it. Right. The hole is too big, but I think that's what we're aiming for. Something like that. And then, how much we've got space for this thing? Right, I think I'm gonna try to cut this wooden batten a bit just to make sure that this fits first. So, after a not so straightforward build of the toilet, Aramis managed to come up with an idea of how this toilet could work. Because the toilet lid was slightly too big to fit inside our pre-made bench box, he had to make a few adjustments. After finally figuring out how to fit the lid, he then came across yet another issue. To empty our toilet, we need to be able to lift the urine separator as well. So he ended up having to make another lid that opens sideways that will enable us to get access to be able to empty it. Time running short and all the big issues sorted, we painted the last few sections left and put everything back together. It's really coming together now. So I have disappeared for, for a while, but we made some progress. Emily joined me, we have curtains. That was one of the jobs for today. As you saw, I started the toilet, but halfway there, I stopped filming because it was quite tricky. But eventually we got there and we got a toilet now. Half toilet. We can at least have a wee, which eases my mind anyway. Yeah. Still need to get some sort of a bucket or something, but here's the toilet. It's right there. But yeah, so there was a lot of cutting, measuring, cutting, measuring, cutting. That's how our lid looks like now. So because I couldn't fit the toilet lid too deep, so make everything flush, I had to cut this lid. We got a cushion on top. You open the lid up, you open your toilet lid. So there's a bottle underneath. When the bottle is full, you lift this lid up, lift this, and you can access everything there. So it's gonna have a 10 litre bottle for our urine. Here is gonna be some sort of composting section for yeah. only when you're desperate. Yeah. I am banning the number twos in the van unless you have no other choice. Yeah. Basically. Number two is gonna be really like emergency ones. Well, but yeah, uh, unfortunately it's too late now. Uh, to fully finish it, I would like to just make a wall here so just to separate everything from the rest of the storage. But for now, that will have to do. We're going on a five day trip and we need to at least have a toilet to wee somewhere. I'm going to take care of this mess and we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for joining us on this build. If you enjoyed it, please consider subscribing and don't forget to like and leave a comment on what you think about the build so far. We'll see you next time. Bye.